Ladies and gentlemen, don't know about you, but uh, one of the openings that I fear the most when I've got the black pieces is the scotch as an e4, e5 player right now. Okay, so the, there, there are, well, I mean, specifically we're talking about the scotch gambit. It's very scary. So what is a scotch gambit? Well, so you've, you've got black, say we have e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, normal standard opening, and they play the scotch. Now, right now, I'm still playing the Steinitz variation with takes here. The main line is knight recaptures, and then the Steinitz is queen h4. And this does very well at the beginner and intermediate level. Um, not so common at the, at the high level, okay? So, but after we take, the Scotch Gambit continues with bishop c4. And there are lots of scary, hairy lines in this. So, thought I'd do a little bit of homework. Thought I'd brush up on my anti-Scotch Gambit study. It will be in the description. But here we are in um, like viewer mode and I'm gonna show you what I remember of this. So I did some study yesterday, reviewed it last night uh, briefly. So the Scotch Gambit, they don't recapture the pawn, they postpone this. There are lots of other, other things that they can do as well. Um, and this can lead to some very, very spicy lines. So here's the general rule. If you see the Scotch Gambit, like the octopus is telling me, two knights, bring out two knights. Now, knight h3 is also an idea, okay. And this is, a, this is very common. What we do here is we counter strike. We play d5, hit the bishop, okay? Our knight is still on prees, therefore we're gonna retreat the knight to here. And this looks kind of clumsy right now, but it's, it's all right, prepare to castle. So the octopus is giving you the hints, all right? And we recapture. If the move is obvious, it's not gonna tell you. Now, this is, this is weird. This is the weird one. And this is a very typical, likely line that you're gonna get. Okay, it's tempting to take this pawn here. We don't want to do that because this pawn is actually on prees. Um, and then also our queen is trapped. So that would be horrific, okay? So what you have to do here is you have to play this knight back to b8. So this knight has come all the way round here, three jumps, okay? And now we push and kick this donkey away. Then we're gonna get castled and black is actually fine from this position. Okay, so let's just review that again. Okay, we face the scotch. We take the pawn because we're Steinitz players. And when they come out, oh, the scotch gambit, two knights. That's what you have to remember. They push, you counter strike. You really want that bishop. Okay, we're gonna retreat. And now we just prepare to castle. And if they take, we recapture. They're gonna take this pawn. We cannot allow that, so we have to retreat the knight, but this is fine. We have better control here. We're gonna kick the horse away. We're gonna castle, all's well, that ends well, okay? So we've got four lines only that I'm gonna show here. I might add more over time, but I don't face the Scotch Gambit all the time. I think this is probably gonna be pretty good. Okay, we take the pawn. They come out, the Scotch Gambit, two knights. All right, and we, now if they capture on passant, this is the second one, no worries at all, free development. We are now getting ready to castle, just castle there, and black is just better. Look, we've got three pieces out, king is safe, we've got the pawn in the center, and uh, we're, we're just gonna have a, a perfectly fine time of this, so don't have to worry about that on passant option. All right, what's number three? Knight g5, okay. Let's see if I can remember what to do. And this is, this is, I just think this is simply the best way to drill stuff. Really is. Okay, Scotch Gambit, two knights. And I'm somebody that, that, that remembers stuff or, or, orderly, orally, 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 AU. Um, I had a, a client once who was a, an NLP expert called Tina. And she said, I can tell by watching you that you process by hearing, whereas other people process more, well, maybe spatially, whatever, I don't know. Okay, so here we, the octopus is saying, think anti-fried liver. So it's the same move, it's d5, hitting the bishop, okay? They take, now we have a knight that's hanging, okay, but this is okay. We're going to play queen e7 and attack, right? Now the knight comes in, we're looking at this, but 
interestingly, we're also looking at this pawn twice. Okay, clearly we have to recapture. They come after a knight, and it's the B knight that captures here. So look at me, I've remembered it. What would we play in this position? Hum, 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 hum. I think we just castle. Yes, there you go. All right, do you want to see that again? Go on, let's do it. What the hell? You can do this as many times as you like. This is a free public study. This is for you. You can drill this. Uh, oh, the Scotch Gambit. We know what to do, don't we, boys and girls? Two knights. Right, they come in and that. Oh, it's like fried liver style. Don't have to worry. Okay. And now we're just going to go on the front foot. Okay. And now we're going to eye up these two pawns. They do this, no worries. They come out and we can grab this pawn. They do that, we can castle as well, and we're fine, okay? All of these lines, black is at least better. Okay, so we're just looking for a simple get out of jail free card against the Scotch Gambit, that, that's all it is. Okay, the Scotch, well, we're Steinitz players, so we capture. Uh, oh, the Scotch Gambit, two knights, remember? Castles, uh, now, <laughs> the pawn is free. Uh, at least temporarily, and you're thinking, well, what about rookie one? Well. We'll get to that. Okay, rookie one. Okay, now we're going to defend and attack. Pawn to d5, right? We're attacking the bishop and defending the knight at the same time. They take, queen takes, right? So now we're actually currently up a piece. Now, white has to do this move. Anything else is just voice. Okay, now there's a load of moves that white can play here, right? Um, but the one we're going to play is d7, and it, the octopus simply tells you the move there. Okay, block the e-file. They do this, crack on. All's well. They take here, and what we're going to do here is play bishop d7, so that if they should take here, we capture with a very evil bishop. And in fact, although it's kind of equal on the um, engine, black wins 55% against 35% for white from this position so and that's like throughout the intermediate level so there you go not to be feared the old scotch gambit um i mean i i used to play it and i used to play something called the hackso gambit which comes from it as well it is very spicy but you know i was just sitting there thinking well i've, I've, I've got an otb game tomorrow night and i thought you know is there anything i'm like really worried about seeing i'm not scared of the Sicilian, I've got a weapon against that, but keep coming back to the Scotch. Hate the Scotch, right? And the, the Freddy Krueger F5 thing, yeah, it's just too dubious, I think, just a little bit too dubious. So there you go. If you've been fearing the Scotch, fear no more. Thanks for watching. See you later.